friends, Pam Shepard with Pamela Shepard Production here. And I'm going to make um, a sign with these letters. Today I'm going to make one that says the word so. But I'm going to actually hang mine uh, up and down over by my sewing machine. And I'm going to make them look very shabby chic. Um, I'll speed up some of it and some of it I'll, you know, voice over and some of it I won't. And I'm so happy to have you with me here today. If you're new, welcome, welcome. And if you like this, then maybe you would subscribe and give me thumbs up. And I'm so thankful for all of you. Thank you so much. I've had a rough couple of days. Um, our little special, special little dog, Minnie, got hit by a car and killed. And she's just two years old. And we were so in love with her. And ah, it's been, it's been rough. But, and... And you that love your pets, you you know what I'm talking about. It's been rough. So anyhow, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start off by painting these <clears throat> with just some white gesso so that they'll show up a little bit better. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Get my gesso to work. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just put a nice little coat over these. Okay, I'm going to set these over here. Okay, this is the, the chipboard. And this is the white chipboard. Um, it won't really matter what color because I'm going to put... I'm going to use some real fun paper. And I've decided to make them five inches high and five and a half inches wide. So I'm going to get out my big cutter. This is one of those Fisker precision cutters. I really like to pull this lever down when I'm doing this... Um, chipboard. It's a little bit easier, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay, so there's five wide, and we want five and a half. Okay, so we do five and a half exactly right there. Oh. Okay, so we have three of these. And I'm not going to worry with trying to change them from being white because you get to use your small papers, you know, your 6x6 six six because they're plenty big enough. One thing I want to do is have uh, make them different but alike. I want something to run through, through all of them the same and then, um, then I want each one of them to, have, to be a little bit different. And my craft room is um, is basically creams and pinks and then just little teeny tiny touches of teal here and there. So I think I'm going to use some of this one as the wedding garden. And um, oh, I got my paper with my letters in the way, don't I? Okay, so I'll set that over here. So these are awful pretty and they're all different. That's kind of cool. And hmm. There these are all different colors. I wonder if I should we'll see about is that just one? It's kind of thick. And hmm, that one's good. I'm gonna add some laces and stuff my own self as well. That's pretty. So are these two, I think they're enough different that it would be okay. Something like this would be nice. This one might be nice. We'll use, like, we probably have to use one on one end and one on the other. Or so forth and so on. And we'll do that. We'll just use those and not go on and on about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is if I want to cover. Now, uh, I think I might put a little bit of burlap on each one of them, so let me grab some burlap. So, size-wise, 
um, if I add burlap to these, then what I'll do is fray, have it frayed, you know? So we could do that where this would be in the back. And save these. These work really super good in uh, cards. I'm going to make some shabby chic cards in a little bit too, so I'll save these and use these in the cards. Yeah, I'm going to have to, in order to like them, I'm going to have to take my um, Distress Ink. This vintage photo is the one I like so much. And... It does go this way. Yeah, that's right. Five by five and a half. Okay, so there's this one, which I'm, I am going to go ahead and uh, ink this up around the edge. I think what I'm going to use today is I think I'm going to use this art glitter glue because, oops, pulled the whole lid off. Um, I'm going to put so many things on top of it that it, I don't see how it's going to make any bubbles or any weird things. And I'll show you. Okay. Bone folder. Okay. 
then I think what I'm going to do with all of them, um, I think I'll just go ahead and, and finish one so we can see what we're going to do. Then, um, let's see, what did I say it has to be green at the beginning and green at the end? So we'll do this. Okay, so this would be the E because it's the middle. So, so uh, what I'm going to do, and I don't know if I have enough of this. Yeah, I, do, I think I do. I wanted to take this right across the middle like this. Hmm. It does dry clear. Okay. Yeah. Would have been a smarter move. So hot glue next time on the other ones. Okay. So we've got this. Now they'll all have that. They'll all have this and they'll all have this. So there's the tassels every so often. But I want them to be also in between. So I'm going to double them up and put tassels in the middle as well. In the middle of each one as well. I was wondering if I want to scoot it over and do a third. I'm going to try it. <laughs> we may not like it, but we're going to try it. Okay. Like that. Which is pretty cool. I think those tassels are extremely long, way too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them up here and I'm going to take one of these pieces of cardboard I had left over and let's take it off at, let's see, two right here. I'm gonna, oh, I need my rotary cutter to give it a try. <laughs> I should have grabbed my little, <gasps> that do it? Yeah. Ooh, and these will be good on cards too. We're just going to hot glue this puppy right on here for now. I'm just going to let it dangle off. I think that's about right. Yeah, I like that. I kind of like that. Okay, so now we're going to, and I'll do them all this way. I'll just do those real quick and all at once and then off screen and then I'll bring it back. So why don't I put this across here? just to give it a nice little look. I think I'm going to. I mean, what have I got to lose, right? All right, let's take our hot glue. And we're gonna put this across here. Okay, so now I, f I can feel that uh, up under here I didn't glue all these three layers together on some of it. It felt a little loose when I was coming by. Okay. Okay. Now, um, let's put a piece across the top that will, um, and then I'll do it on every one of them the same. And I wonder if, if we did, like, if we did this one. This is the Dollar Tree one, and if we did it along here, and then put some bling along there, possibly. I think that might be fun. Put a dab of glue all the way across here. And no need to be worried or anything, because you can change it, or you can just add something to it if you don't like the way it looked, you know? And I'm going to leave this a little bit long like I did that one. Okay. And then um, up here, this as well, because I love bling. 
And I think I just only want a single bling though. Don't want a double bling. So we're going to cut this in two. I need to cut it a little bit more. I was going to say it would be enough for two right there, but i got to go just a tiny bit further. Okay, and then the other thing is, yeah, see? But before we do that, I think what I'd like to do is take some, and we'll use this one. So I'm going to try to tuck it. Oh, there's a kind of a fold in that. I don't want that. Okay, so if I try to um, stop it here, see, I make sure almost make it feel like it's going under. Let me zoom you in just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Where I'm going to try to put it up under this thing. And then at the top, I'm going to try to I'm just going to um, butt this right up to the to the deal like that. So let me take it out. Oops. Just a little bit. You can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit and just slowly do it. Oops. I want it right on the edge. Got glue and paint all over my nails. Okay, so then we'll take and this didn't get glued down anyhow, so we're going to go across here. Put a little, maybe too much glue. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I like it. Okay, then we're going to just almost cut this a tiny bit long and tuck it in. Yeah. Then we're going to do the same thing over here. Give it a nice little finished edge. Don't want to tuck it under that one, but... long and tuck it up under there. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is put the bling across there. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so I'm going to go from here all across where those little holes are. I got the got me some bling on there that I want. Got me some pretty lace. Got me some fringe hanging down. So, so this one is supposed to be the E we th we think. So let's go ahead and put the E on there. I think I'll use hot glue. Uh, and since I'm doing sewing, I have a really old bobbin that's all rusted and awful, and I'm gonna use that with my flowers. I'm going to do this. I don't think I'm just going to keep thinking about it. I think I'm going to put that in there. There's that one. And there's this one. I had some of these, oh, yeah, these with the little bling in them are kind of cool too. These little ones here. And see if that would look. I want you to be able to see the bobbin, so I don't want to hide it. Ooh, these are kind of cool. Let's open these. They've got a little bit of amber bling in them. 
That's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay, so let me glue this one here where we're going to hide stuff. Anyhow. And then... And we want the bobbin to really show, so... What if we put one of these... Where's that other one? Um... This under it so it stood out. Yeah, that's better. Because you want to see the bobbin, right? And then uh, if I had like an old thimble, that'd be kind of cool. To that's kind of cute. Add, okay, so add this one like we're going up. And just there, see, and it might be nice to have a leaf coming out of there. Yeah, I think that looks good. Oops, I mean to put it on the flower. I'm gonna put it under the flower. there, then I can put this flower here. That one actually looks pretty good. It doesn't leave the... so lonely up there. There we go. That's kind of cute. Put a little one there. I have some of this stuff that I've had forever. And it is so way cool. You can just pull it out, and um, let's just cut off this piece right here, for instance. And you can have this, you know, coming out of there, or it might look cooler coming off the side, you know, like this. That's kind of cool. I like it. Let's tuck it up under this big rose here. And it's just, uh, just gives you a little bling bling. I think I'd like the E just a little bit better if it had a few more dark spots on it. Because it almost looks gray, doesn't it? There you go. the completed E, I ended up adding some buttons and other items, and I love it. Okay, so you missed a little bit of it because I got a phone call and then my husband came home and he was really hungry for lunch. And so I've just been um, gluing some flowers on here and um, here I put some of those pearl things and I folded one of the flowers over. Let me zoom you in a little bit. I folded one of these flowers over. I had these two big... Uh, big things on the edges of them and I just it didn't look good I didn't like it so I took them off and so I may end up having to put just a little bitty yeah I think I will put a little flower there to hide the uh, hot glue that <clears throat> I ended up taking off and then I, I hung this little little metal sewing machine and I had an old um, tape measure that got all messed up and so I cut little dovetails on the end of it and kind of curled it around and put those scissors but I think this would just be adorable to put here I really do I like it a lot to put this um, pair of scissors I just think it is so cute right there So cute. So that is the S. So I think I'll be done with the S now.
much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see all you good people later. Bye-bye.